Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about a package.json file. So why I am making a separate video for package.json because this is the most important file in your any front-end application. It might be React, Angular, or Vue. Every project need package.json. And uh, in interviews, most of the interviewer basically ask one or two question on a package.json file. So this is a very important video. So now let's get started. So what we are going to learn in this video, uh, I will just uh, provide you the answer of uh, my previous video. Here I asked the three questions, then uh, we will provide the answer for all these questions. And after that, we will uh, learn what is package.json, how we can add new package, remove package, and how we can make some custom commands. And you want to, if you want to join me on Insta, then link is here, right? So in previous video, I asked the three question. So the first one is, uh, which is the most important file in your React project? I already answered this question, which is the package.json. And you can find this file on a root directory, right? The second question is, why we should not push node modules on the Git repository? Because these node modules are really big in a size. If you just want to check then you can just go to the node modules folder and just check the properties then you will find that they are really big in a size, right? So we don't need to push these uh, modules on a Git repository. The third question is, okay, so if we did not push this node model on a uh, Git repository, then how another developer can get these uh, node model? So he just need to run only single simple command npm install, right? And uh, the node modules, will automatically created and uh, how they are actually created because the all packages are uh, just uh, mentioned in your package.json file right and uh, npm install will take the information from here and generate the node modules right so these are the answer of the previous video now let's uh, just see the first question what is package.json so package.json will basically keep the detail of your project right so uh, what kind of detail like name version dependencies dependencies mean how many libraries you required and when we just uh, run the npm install these libraries are installed and these dependencies also installed automatically then uh, these are some custom commands oh sorry these are not custom commands these are the commands which is uh, help us to start build test and in inject or uh, for application right so now we have a question that how we can add a new package so there is a two way to add new package so first of all let's find some package so let's say i just want to add some uh, validations right so just right here react validation uh, in the upcoming videos i will just create a separate video for uh, react validation don't worry about that but in this video i just want to show that how we can just install a package right so just open this package and uh, then just uh, copy this name, right? Or you can just type here, or otherwise, if you just want to copy, then that's okay, right? And uh, just uh, paste it simply here, and you can just enter. So this is the first way to install your package, right? And when this package is installed, you will find that the version of the package name will be just automatically added here, right? So let's uh, wait for a moment. It will just, uh, going to install so here this is installed here you now you can see that this is completely installed from here and the version and uh, name of this package are automatically added here right so now when we just push this code to the git repository node model will not going to uh, push on a git repository and package json will be pushed right so another developer can just simply write here npm install and this package will be automatically installed so this is the one way and sec what is the second way to just install it right so the second way is very simple uh, you can just uh, provide your package name here right and mention the version name right and just uh, run here npm install so let's i'm just going to show that how you can do it so let's say you just want to install the this version uh, react 3.0.0 right a specific version then you can just simply put here this name and uh, just put here 3.0.0 right and now you can just come here and write here npm install right 
and uh, let's say I just want to um, make it more clear let's say you have react XYZ package and uh, then you can just simply put here 1.0.0 specific version right and uh, don't forget to put the semi uh, the comma, comma at the last and uh, just run here npm install this package will be installed automatically right and uh, that's great so now let's say you just you just want to uninstall this package then what you can do there is again we have a two way first thing is you can just put here npm uninstall as your package name right otherwise whatever you can do you can just remove this package from here like this right just remove it from here and uh, just go to the command line just uh, give me a moment right and just again just write here npm install the package which is mentioned here are uh, installed other packages are gonna remove from your node modules right and uh, just wait for a moment and you will find that some packages are removed from here right so now you can just see that removed five package because why are five packages we have only one package because this package have some dependencies also that's why the five packages are removed so that's great now what's uh, the next now okay so now how we can just make some custom command so as you know let's say we are just uh, writing we just want to run our project then what command we will use npm start right so uh, it will just uh, run our project on a specific 300 port right so now let's say you just want to make it a uh, custom command then how you can do it right so now this is running on that port that's great so how you can just make some custom command for that you can just your command name like uh, my name anil right and now what do you just need to do just come here stop your uh, running command if some command is actually running here right and uh, just simply put here npm run anil right don't forget to put here run keyword when you just make some uh, custom command or you are running any another command to the npm start you just uh, need to uh, if you just want to make a build then you have to run here npm run build npm test npm run test npm run inject and npm run anil so you just need to put here run keyword with the every command right so now it's about to run All right so i think this is running if you want to check that that this is working fine with the command npm run anil right so this way you can just make the custom command also so that's all uh, it's time of uh, the another question so how many types of component we have in react i know most of the guys will tell that two kind of component package and class no there is a lots of uh, kind lots of type in component in a react and if you just want to mention the name of these component then that's great otherwise just put a number of type like 5 2 3 4 10 12 how much uh, type of component you have you can just mention in the comment box if you want right otherwise in the next video i will tell you in the detail so thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and you can get all the videos from the description box and never ever forget to check the description box because in the description box sometime i just put some important link also right so bye bye take care